this quick video I'm just going to show you a few of the extra options that are available in um, the WPI performance plugin specifically um, this sort order option and the calculate totals okay so I'll just um, switch over to this is uh, one of the example shops I've got um, 820 817,000 products in it um, loading this without any cash um, so uh, using query monitor as well up the top here right just so you can see the performance okay so um, this part here that is actually the um, the fast filter cache that's producing the counts at the side of the um, bar um, so don't need to worry about these so much because they're very common on each page and they're getting cached okay but then this so they're common across multiple pages but this this query here this is using WP query um, so you see here WP query get posts and it's 3.45 seconds now there's a couple of things in here that these options affect. One of them is the SQL calc found rows option. And the other one is this order by option. Okay, so WooCommerce gives you some weird options to sort by, but this will affect your post custom post type sorting as well. Um, I mean, if you've done a match on specific products for attributes or whatever like that, then um, the, the default sort orders they're giving you is not very, not very good. Um, so we can get a lot more performance if we just use the natural sort order. Okay, so I'll show you what that does on its own. Um, so that is changing this up. No, wait, sorry, changing this option using the natural sort order. Okay, and you'll see the query was um, order by menu order post title. And then if I refresh that page, you'll see it was 3.45 seconds. Okay, if we refresh there, we are now down to. Um, with the natural sort order, we're down to 1.5 seconds. That's on the 800,000 products. It's still doing an index scan um, because it's calculating this um, total, but you see it's using the natural sort order, right? Um, so it doesn't have to do a full sort here. Uh, but um, this part here, right? This is what the SQL calc found rows is doing. It's producing this number, uh, 1 to 50 of 817,000. Now, if we disable that, remove the count. Okay, refresh the page. Um, okay. Okay, in this case, why am I not getting the super? All oh, right, yeah, yeah, sorry. So the reason I'm not getting the full speed in this is because I'm logged in. Um, so this or statement prevents the index being fully used. I've got an index on post type and then post status and then the natural sort order of the date descending. Um, but because this is an or statement, then it's not able to use that. So I'll just show you that again. There's a little option at the bottom of, um, w, of query monitor to set an authentication cookie. That's actually set. Um, so this is only happening because I'm logged in as admin. Um, so that WP post status publish or private that's because I'm logged in as admin so if I just log out okay and then I'll just visit go back to that page again okay and we get we still get the query speeds and they're just down here queries okay you see it's not telling me any slow queries so I wanted to look for WP query get posts all right okay so there you see it now right so post status equals publish not publish or private and you see the time now down to 0 0.0008 seconds okay so a lot lot faster and that is clearly scalable right so the more you can add as many millions of products as you want there like literally you can add billions of products and it would still be fast um because it's going to maintain that index and keep account now the drawback of um, switching that off is that now it says showing all zero results okay that's because I switched off the count um, now that you can get around that the way that I think is the best way to get around that is to add infinite scroll to your page um, now that infinite scroll basically mean that as you're going down here you just be fetching the next pages and because it's 0 0.0008 seconds your infinite scroll is going to be lightning fast so as people are scrolling down it's going to be loading in loading in loading in um, now I'll log back in so I can show you the other option because there is one of the problems that people have had in the past with infinite scroll is when you click onto a product, say, I, say I've scrolled down to page three or four, if I click onto a product and then I click back, when you click back you're only on page one again, 
Okay, but I've added something to this plugin. It's in beta at the moment, but you can use it, it works. Um, which means that when you click on a product, um, it actually fit, it doesn't change the page, it does it with an iframe and overrides the click um, and basically fetches the product page and displays it on the page in an iframe. Um, and then what happens is it also overrides the back button so that when you hit back, it just hides that iframe and reveals this page again. So you come back directly to the same exact spot you're in. So that's a really good option if you are planning to use this. It means that your shop can scale a lot more quickly. You're talking really fast. Um, the only question, obviously, it means that this isn't going to work, right? So if I search this sort by newness, the sort order will be the same. Yep, you see that? It's the exact same. So it depends if you... Oh, I don't know what happened there. Oh, it's because it's joining. Yeah, it's still doing a join on that one there. Um, and that join to popularity, there's obviously no metadata for it. So um, there's nothing coming back there. But basically these sorts won't work. If I did sort high to low or sort thing because I'm removing the sort order. Um oof, and I think I've just killed it. Um, but yeah, so those are the things to be aware of. Um if you're using these two options, remove count um, and use natural sort order, you can get some really fast speed. Um, but obviously it does affect the sort order. Um, so if you're cool with that, then you get some nice speed out your server and I recommend you also add Ajax. And here's that option to fetch the Ajax, the, the page using, it's not so much Ajax as an iframe, I should correct that, um, but it really does give you great speed. All right.